Hello everyone, welcome to Soxtown, a City Skylines Let's Play. My name is Sox Way Up, and today we're going to attempt to get a profitable city. We're not going to worry too much about it being pretty, we're just going to make sure that we can be profitable and then move forward with making it look better later. We're using a map called Riverlands, and I'll put the link in the description along with all the mods that I'm using. All right, so let's start like we do with every city. We're just going to build a tiny little road and destroy it so we can unlock a few other things to get this city going. All right, I like to start with my utilities, so let's get started with water. We're going to do our water pump first. You can see the water is pushing out away from our city, so we'll put our fresh water pump right around here to get the fresh water. And then we'll grab our drain and we'll put it down the river so that the dirty water will go away from our city. Connect the two up with a water pipe, and then next we'll need electricity, so we're going to take a wind turbine. We're going to find a good place for it. Seven megawatts, I think is what it is, is what we'll get out of that one. Connect the power lines, and then we're going to bring our power lines down close to our street. Let's see what we can do here. Let's undo that. Maybe we'll start from this side. Maybe give it an angle. There we go. All right, then we'll bring our power lines down. That'll get us close to our roads, but we'll get our roads laid out before we bring that over to them. All right, so looking at this map, I already decided that I do want this two freeway systems to connect. So we'll go straight out, we'll curve over, and we'll connect these two to make it easy for people to get in and out of the city. So keeping that in mind, let's start building. So I did notice these roads aren't perfectly straight, so I'm going to put this connection road. Maybe they are. They looked a little off to me. You know what? Let's, hmm. let's put it in there anyways, just to be safe. And then we'll look for our one-way road. That's too small. Let's grab that one. We're going to go out 40 units to start. And bring it back 40 units. Now we'll go up, make it even, and then we'll reverse it with the upgrade tool. There we go. All right, next here we're going to spend a little bit of money on some elevated roads. We want the city streets to go under the highway, so we're going to bring this out 10, raise it up to 9, and then back down to make that even. And then we're going to go out 10 more. And then back over 10. And then we're going to drop this back down 10 more. And back up. So that gives us an even bridge that we can have the cars go under to stay in the city. The ones on the highway can go over. This next thing I'm doing is a little trick that I like to do to line up my exits. So we went out five on both sides and then up with this dirt road. We're using the dirt road to save money. It's the cheapest road. <coughs> Excuse me. So that'll allow us to line up our road right in the middle of that bridge. So let's get our regular two-lane road. We're going to go from this dirt road to that one, perfectly even. And that'll allow us to do our on and off ramps. Let's clean that up. All right, looking good. Now let's get our one-way one lane off ramp let's do it about right here that should look nice and back like that and make this one even over here and that's oh not liking that too much of a slope so let's back it up a little bit there we go even there now let's try to upgrade these to be the bridge road, because that doesn't look very good. Actually, let's get the direction right on these first. All right, let's see. Anarchy, elevated road. That's not working. Nope. Hmm. Bridge. Actually... I think this is a custom asset that doesn't have a bridge, so we might have to come up with something different for this. Let's see. Let me try to play around with this a little bit with Move It and see if I can make it look better. That's not really cooperating. Uh, let's 
este yeah. that's uh it's not looking very good let's try a couple more things here no uh yeah undo that let's let's bring it back yeah not liking it at all no all right so let's get rid of these yeah all right let's adjust we'll bring them out farther we'll bring them all the way out to where the road is flat because i don't believe there is a custom asset for the bridges for that so that didn't work and we could change it when we unlock the highways and have the actual off ramp but yeah let's bring it here that won't be too bad Again, this is probably temporary just to get us going, get us to where we're a profitable city. Do that on each side. It's not the prettiest, but we'll make it work for now. These will go the right direction. And now we can start bringing in some more roads. Let's start by bringing this one down. Let's say, yeah, make sure that it's a normal road. 30 units now let's see. yeah let's go 40 and then we will go up to what we're going to do our industry area we're going to go 50 over there $35,000 left let's see what do we want to do next let's go to this first dot here yeah, let's go to the second one and we'll bring this down 40 units. Uh, let's go 50. And then out 10 more over here to give us more room. We're going to make a little grid. But just because our main road is a grid doesn't mean our roads inside this little neighborhood have to be. We're going to connect this one. Think of it as kind of like the main road in the neighborhood. Give them a couple outlets. And then we'll, you know, have some cul de sacs. Do some randomness in here to break it up like a regular neighborhood a couple exits from the neighborhood hopefully that'll spread some traffic out this is one of my favorite roads it's just a plain paved road no lines in it all right that should give us a good start there let's go ahead and get some of our roads for our industry going let's use dirt roads to save some money we're at 24,000 still we're going to come down 40 units, 40 by 30, and up 40, and we're going to go super grid in here. This is definitely going to be a temporary area just to get us up and running and profitable, like I said. But this will also allow us to have good size industry. should be able to scale pretty good like this for now. And let's add some water pipes before we get too far. 17,000 left. Let's try to cover what we know we're going to resource or zone first. And then we'll start zoning. And hopefully get this place profitable. So we can start building a pretty city in the next episode. And we'll want to attach our electricity. Let's bring it from here. And how do we want to do this so it doesn't look too bad and waste zoning at all? Let's bring that there. And then we'll probably also want some power connected to the residential area. So we'll bring that over to here. And $7,000 to spare. Let's start zoning. I don't want residential areas connected to these main two-lane roads so we're gonna zone only inside the neighborhood if that makes sense you can see we're leaving gaps on each side of the road so we can expand those roads later or you know just to ease some of the traffic and this is kind of a style that i like for commercial i like to do random size of sections to make it look a little more realistic some of these tiny ones that i'm putting down i like to think it's gas stations or you know like a walgreens or a drugstore and we'll probably need let's see some 
electricity over here to start with. And we'll put some commercial down and that's to our industry first. So we'll fill in all these, this entire section here, these three. And let's go all six of these for now. Or just the five, that's fine. And then we'll do some more commercial out here. And let's see. Let's just bring that down just to be safe. That should all connect up. Now we're going to start. We played pause the whole time. I don't know if you guys caught on to that so that our money wasn't being used by the utilities. So now this is probably one of the only times, maybe a few other times I'll run it in times three. But we want to do this so that we can get the profitability up. Right now we're at negative 1100 a week. And it's starting to trend our way. Yep, looks like it's starting. Eh, it's fluctuating a little bit, but as people move in, oh, we got to connect the power before we run out of money. That did it. Okay, so we do have a mod called Electric Roads, I believe. So once you get the electricity attached to a road that has electricity, every single road that it's attached to gets the electricity. So I, I forgot I had that enabled, but that will help us out. We can get rid of these power lines sooner or later. But now we got some people moving in. We're up to 41. And there it goes. Starting to go down. People are starting to pay 900. We still have a little bit of money. We're not in the negative yet. 830. All right, I think we pulled it off. We just got to wait this out a little bit, and we should have a profitable city. You know, while we have money, let's pause it. Let's add a little more roads and some water, just in case we don't have enough residential zone. So let's see. 1,300. Yeah, let's just add roads down to where the water goes. I did not mean to do a dirt road. That shouldn't hurt us too bad. So again, this is we're just trying to get profitable. I'm not too worried about how nice it looks right now. This whole area probably, like I've said a few times, will get redone. But all right, we're out of money. Let's add a little bit more zoning in here to help more people be able to move in. And then we'll play the waiting game here in a second after we unpause it. And we're in the negative with money, but our weekly income is starting to trend our way. 663. Let's lower some of these budgets a little bit to help us get there quicker. We don't need that much water to begin with. Yeah, that helped a little bit. You can see it's starting to drop a lot faster, closer to zero per week. 400. We got more people still moving in. We're at 78 citizens 80 it's climbing getting a little closer yeah i think that'll probably probably get us there yeah this is a, a approach i do just to get started every city i slowly build a little bit of residential a little bit of commercial and industry you can see that that residential demand is already climbing back up for us, so that's going to give us the ability to just wait out some of this profit, build some more roads, get some more people in town, and then start planning out our city, getting some you know parks and some zoos and some other fun stuff into play. But the first goal, obviously, is to make sure you got money coming in from taxpayers, from you know people going shopping and paying tax on commercial and then the offices or the industry paying taxes but yeah $38 now negative about to hit the green here there we go and we're profitable so it's going to take a little bit before we get money flowing in now that we're making positive money every week so we're negative 1200 right now but we'll get there so 118 people didn't quite get to the first milestone that will be the goal of our next episode but typically at this point i do kind of let it run for a little bit yeah 380 for our little hamlet 
that'll probably be our goal for the next episode yeah and then we can unlock the garbage the health care the education be able to adjust our taxes maybe take out a loan if we wanted to i like to avoid the loans but yeah that should do it for this first episode if you're wondering why the city's population is so low it's because i'm using a realistic population i have another video on that you can check that out i'm looking forward to seeing where this city goes and i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next episode of Soxtown. episode